And a very good and cool Thursday to all of you across the desert southwest. Some good news, we don't have those whipping winds out there today blowing around the sand and dust throughout the area. It's a little cooler. We're well below our average, but uh, we'll take the sunshine and the calm breezes. Uh, we'll take a look outside at the RV World of Yuma Sky Cam, show you exactly what we have going on. Clear out there. We got blue skies, mostly clear skies as well. And uh, yeah, we have some breezy conditions. You can see uh, the treetops uh, swaying in the light breeze that we have. But again, nothing like we had over the last three days. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar, show you what we have throughout the area. There's not much here in the desert southwest or even the western portion of the United States. A big change from where we were yesterday. We had some uh, rain move through the area, uh, especially throughout most of uh, California and uh, upper portions and lower even Cali <laughs> even Arizona saw uh, a lot of rain yesterday. Spit it out, Scott. Here we go. Our future cast shows or cooler temperatures across the United States. This lower uh, pressure system uh, pulling down a lot of that colder air from the Midwest down to where we are. And again, we're anywhere between 5 to 10 degrees below our average. The average is 75 degrees. We're right around 60 today, so we kind of fall into that 10 to 15 degree below average. A romp as well. Jumping ahead to our satellite and radar. There's where the weather is. The Midwest seeing more snow. There's a band of snow and rain showers making its way towards the northeast. But back down here in the desert southwest, this is our wind speed right now. Five miles per hour in Yuma, five in YPG, five in El Centro. And it's going to stay like that as we take a look at our future wind slide. Nothing uh, too crazy until we get into tomorrow morning. Again, we're going to have overnight lows in the upper 30s, we're going to have some breezy conditions, winds anywhere between 5 and 15 miles per hour into tomorrow afternoon. Our air quality index looks really, really good. A big change from where we were the last couple of days, good all the way through the Imperial Valley and on down to Mexicali. This brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. And a jump ahead to our temperatures. Again, quite cool. 62 in Calipatria, 61 in Imperial, 63 in El Centro, and 60 in Ocotillo and in Holtville and across the county and state line in Yuma County, Arizona. Cool here as well, 60 in Yuma, 60 in the Foothills and Welton. Tacna is at 59. Dayton is at 58. Our viewer photo of the day comes from Welton. John Taylor sent this in. A gorgeous shot. Thank you so much, John. This is the Welton Hills Sunset. Nice photo. Uh, you can see that sunset off into the distance. And if you have a photo that you'd like to share, you can do what John did and send it right to the Weather Photo Gallery just by scanning this QR code with your phone. It's like you're about to take a, a picture with it, and then you'll magically be taken to the KYMA page, the Weather Photo Gallery. Upload your photo or photos. Include your name and a slight description, or you can find me on social media. Even drop it off on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Real quickly, look at your Metrocast. We'll be down to around 57 degrees tonight, mostly clear skies around 7 o'clock. A lot cooler around midnight 44, and tomorrow morning, check this out, right around 7 o'clock, 37 degrees. Yeah, and then we're going to warm up from there. But a couple cool mornings in the uh, upper 30s. And uh, we're going to slowly get back to our average of 75 degrees over the weekend. But take a look at next Wednesday. Yeah, we could hit 90 degrees next Wednesday and Thursday. Same could be said for the Imperial Valley. 68, a high for tomorrow. That's cool. That's 7 degrees below our average. Again, overnight lows in the upper 30s. But we'll slowly start to warm back up starting on Monday, working our way possibly to 90 degrees next week.